Welcome! Today we're going to learn how to find elapsed time when only given the beginning and end times. Before we begin, let's review some important vocabulary. Elapsed time is the amount of time that passes from the start of an activity to the end. A minute is a unit used to measure time. One minute equals 60 seconds. An hour is another unit used to measure time. One hour equals 60 minutes. To measure elapsed time, we are going to use a number line. Our number lines for elapsed time will count by intervals of one hour, 10 minutes, and one minute. In our last video, we learned to record an hour as a big pointy mountain and 10 minutes as a medium sized hill and one minute as a small rock. Let's practice finding elapsed time with this story problem. Jake went to soccer practice at 4.10 p.m. He returned at 4.52 p.m. How long was he at soccer practice for? In this story, we already know the beginning and ending time. I will label the beginning time 4.10 on the left and the end time 4.52 on the right of my number line. Now I can start figuring out how much time passed in between the start and end. I can tell that the hour did not change, so I will start by adding groups of 10 minutes until I get close to my ending time. 4.10 plus 10 minutes equals 4.20. 4.20 plus 10 minutes equals 4.30. 4.30 plus 10 minutes equals 4.40. 4.40 plus 10 minutes equals 4.50. I cannot add any more tens or else I will go over my end time. Now I will add my one minute rocks until I reach my end time. 450 plus two minutes equals 452. Now that I have reached my ending time, I can add up all my tens and ones. After adding four groups of 10 and two ones, I can see that 42 minutes passed by. Jake was at soccer practice for 42 minutes. In this video, we learned how to find elapsed time when only given the beginning and end times. Thanks for watching.